Yeah, look at the wear on the inside of this tire. That's insane. Plus, where's the chunk? Yeah, look here. Plus, it's wearing really bad. So this is what you get when you lower a Mercedes without um, aligning it properly. That was the side that was really not properly aligned. This one was, it's still wearing a little bit, but not even close to the same as that one over there. So yeah, welcome back to another video. We are installing the third set of tires on this freaking car since I bought it. Now the first set of tires was obviously because we put different set of wheels on there. Then we lowered it, tires were wearing awfully bad on those wheels. Then we put these set of wheels on, Brand new tires. You guys can see. I mean, there's plenty of tread here. Plenty of tread. But the inside wears horribly bad. So today we're getting a brand new set of tires. All four tires. We're going to go back to 305s in the rear, 265s up front. The car is not properly aligned. So we shouldn't have the wear problem on the inside of the tire. We just came back from Alloy Wheel Repair and fixed that front uh, wheel and this passenger rear as well. They were bent. So that's been fixed now as well. But whatever I hit took a chunk out of the tire on both sides, on the inside. So we need brand new tires just from a safety aspect. But yeah, of course we're back at uh, Wheel Connection. My boy Chad just happens to have a set of uh, tires that fits, or that's the correct size tires that fits my car. So yeah, third set of tires on the car since May. Um, I mean, basically, <laughs> especially when you live in an area like I do, Pittsburgh, with a lot of potholes and stuff, you want aftermarket wheels like 22s on low profile tires, it looks great, but uh, I mean, it, it can be kind of tough, man. You, it's just stuff you gotta learn to, to live with. Uh, if you, especially like a car like this big heavy S-Class, uh, you hit a pothole, you're very likely to freaking bend your wheel or crack it. I was actually happy that it wasn't cracked, it was just bent. But, you know, moral of the story is, man, you got to be about that life when you lower <laughs> a car uh, like this and uh, aftermarket wheels. you got to get it properly aligned, like your tire's going to wear out like 4,000 miles, just the inside of the tire. Because, I mean, it is frustrating. You look at the tire, plenty of tread, plenty of tread, and then the inside. I mean, freaking cords are going to start showing here soon. Is that right, Eric? Right. <laughs> By the way, over here we got some very nice Vossens sitting um, and they're for an X5M and look at the width of this tire 335 30 23s this is the width of my F12 tire I mean this is wide and that's for an SUV and they're 23s that's a very odd size it's got to be extremely hard to find those tires so we have to get those from Boston okay uh they're only they're sold out everywhere in the country. Boston has them for their European clients. We had to get them to send them for us. Wow. Yeah. That's got to be an expensive yeah, tire. It was. Yeah, they were sold out countrywide, and then so Boston stocked them for their European only clients, and then they sent us a set. Dang. That's nutty. Right. Yeah, so now it looks much better. The tire is not as stretched as it was uh, previously. The 295s in the rear, we have 305s now, and then we have 255s up front, and it's 265s now, as it should be. Uh, the last kind of tire setup that we did, Chad hooked me up big time, but it was kind of like emergency set because I was losing so much air on the passenger side with the cracked wheel that we had there, plus the tire was all worn from uh, not being aligned properly. Once again, wheel connection uh, gets me fixed up here. So these guys are the best. Hit them up if you live in the area. You need wheels and tires. All right, so I feel like we have the S65 all squared up here now. So for wheels, you guys go to wheel connection. Now, if you guys need dash cameras, you should go to 70 Mai, especially now 
during Black Friday and uh, the Christmas holidays because they're running some awesome deals. Uh, if you guys follow along on the channel, you guys know that I run this dash cam already. And the main reason I have a dash cam is for safety reasons. Uh, again, if you guys follow along on the channel, you, you know that dash cams have saved my ass several times. It's been able to prove in court that I wasn't going a certain speed. I was also able to prove that I wasn't running a red light when a guy hit me in my previous AMG. Dash cams are a lifesaver. They really are. And the 70 mi that I'm running is the A810, and it comes with the brand new Sony Starvis 2 image sensor and the footage that you get on this camera is amazing the 70 mi is the first dash cam in the world that runs 4k hdr for the front camera and full hdr for the rear camera so during the daytime obviously uh you have really good resolution now i usually film in 1080p just to keep the clips smaller on my sd card but as you guys can see in 1080p the resolution is really good as well. And then it comes with a, a, a rear camera also. Now my, my window is has 5% tint on there, so it's not gonna look as crisp, but you always wanna have uh, eyes in the front and also in the rear. So what's even better is the nighttime resolution, and 70 my use is something called Night Owl. It's got an F1.8 aperture, so it just takes in light even better. As you guys can see here from this footage, it's just crisp and clear. You can easily see license plates if someone does something shady in traffic while you're driving at night. But again, back to the safety aspect, check this out. So I'm sitting at a red light. As you guys can see, I clearly have a green light. I'm about to start driving here. And then one person is still making a left turn. I'm kind of like, yeah, okay, whatever. And then I don't know where someone behind them clearly is making a left turn on red. And it was uh, pretty freaking close right there. If something would have happened, I would have had that on camera. I could easily prove that, you know, I had a green light, she was making a left turn on red. But not everything happens when you're moving. You could be parked in stationary. Like currently I'm downtown Pittsburgh. I could park my car here and leave it for hours. And uh, if someone does something to my car while it is parked, it uses a built-in G sensor and the cameras will start rolling even if the car is not on. I mean, it's a really simple install as well. I did it in about half an hour uh, when I first got the dash cam and I've had it now for a few months and it's by far the best dash cam that I've ever had. By far has the best resolution. Now they have several different type of dash cams as well. And you guys need to check them out for Black Friday. They're gonna have amazing deals and also for Christmas. So check out the links in the description for great deals on a dash cam. I, I mean, there is no way that anyone will ever regret having a dash cam in their car. So now is the time to uh, get a really good deal during Black Friday. Check out the links in the description. Thanks to 70 Mile for sponsoring today's video. All right, so just as we got everything buttoned up and finished uh, on the S65, new tires, wheels are not bent anymore, uh, alignment is fixed. We shouldn't have any tire issues where it's wearing uh, weird and getting like flat tires and so on. This happens to the RS7 yesterday because I was driving that around and then I got a tire pressure you know warning light um, but I figured it was just because you know temperatures it was raining it was kind of weird uh, it's just that season so I didn't think it was anything special but yeah this is an actual flat tire look at that looks like I have a 10 profile tire or something it's 30 so I don't really know what happened there. Um, hmm. It's got tread left. It's not the newest tires in the world, but I don't know if I hit like a, a nail or, or what happened. Yeah, and it's not wearing, you know, weird on the inside or anything like that. So we're going to plug in the tire inflator here and uh, see how long the air holds. Man, I don't know <laughs> what is with me and having freaking tire issues lately. It's crazy. Yeah, look at that when I plug it in. It's not giving me any kind of pressure whatsoever, so we're setting it to 40. Alright, so the battery... Oh yeah, you can hear it seeping out. Where's it coming from, though? That's crazy. Where the hell is that? Oh, here. It's right here. I can feel it. Dang. It's right here. I can feel it. Oh, here it is. Right here. Oh, yeah. That's something super sharp right there. 
see that? Yeah, that's uh, like a freaking blade or something. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. Either way, I gotta move the car so I can get the AMG out. <laughs> Man, I'm having bad luck with tires nowadays. Yeah, it's right there. So yeah, that's gonna deflate completely again. So I'm either gonna have to take the wheel off and get it to Chad's place. I've been spending a lot of time at Chad's place lately, wheel connection. And it's really annoying when you can hear it the whole time. <laughs> oh well, such is life, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not making this up. It's absolutely insane. I have a blinking tire pressure sensor light thing on the AMG now. But uh, full uh, transparency is that that thing has actually been going on for a little while. Um, it, it's basically something's wrong with the sensor. It's not that it's leaking air from the tire or anything, but it's, it's more that the sensor is not being recognized. So there's air. There's not really a problem, but I'm, I'm telling you, man, I'm seeing blinking tire sensor lights in my dreams now. Like it's, it's all over the place. It's crazy. So yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's upload. It was a little different one. It's basically about what happens when you uh, lower a car like this. Uh, with the camber and the weird wear on the tires. But you know, I like to make videos that cover stuff like this because most people don't really talk about that. So, I mean, it's good information to know, especially if you have a car like this or any AMG really. When I had the 205 C63, the problem with that car was up front because of the toe and just, it's hard to align them properly. And I got a flat tire because it was wearing on the inside and I didn't even know about it. Now with RS7, I don't think that has anything to do with lowering it because we did the same th same lowering links uh, as on the 65. And it does have spacers, but it doesn't have the camber problem. That's just running over a nail. So it's just irony that in both my cars, I just have all these like tire pressure lights just blinking all the time. But like we said in the beginning of the upload, I think the S65 is good to go now. Service, aligned, new tires. It shouldn't be wearing bad. Now, do I really think it was a mistake to lower it? No, but kind of yes. But to me, no, because I just love the way that it looks lowered. It sits perfectly now, and with the spacers, it's like flush with the fender. It's the way I want it to look. Now the wheels are extremely dirty. Um, so it doesn't look all that great, but when I have to shell out the money for new tires and like all this stuff and fixing bent wheels and all that Yeah, it kind of sucks, but I don't regret it. I love the way that the car looks I envisioned the car to look th this way when I first bought it and started thinking about wraps and stuff like that And it pretty much looks the way that I want we will be getting a different set of wheels when spring comes and then it'll pretty much be finished. But most of you guys are probably going to say that, yeah, it's a mistake to lower the car. It's an S-Class. It's perfect the way to blah, blah, blah. I have to modify cars because that's how you personalize them. That's how you make them your own. That's how you make them unique. There's no other S65 that looks like this. I mean, the wrap responses have been like 99% positive. I've maybe seen one negative comment. There might be others out there. I don't sit and read all of them, but you know, most people love the way that the car looks now, and I'm one of them. But yeah, I hope everyone had a fantastic uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, there's going to be some big updates coming here pretty soon uh, on the channel in regards to uh, the channel and me. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. I'm uploading this video pretty early on Black Friday, so you're probably out Black Friday shopping when this drops. If you're not, go and check out 70 My and the deals that they have on the dash cams for Black Friday and also for you know Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.